Season of the Forge has begun, and it is also the weekly reset, so we're going to find out what is available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up, guys? Reckless here, and welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, as you guys can see, the Season of the Forge is now live, and this actually came with Destiny version uh, 1.29. And this update was 10.838 gigabytes big. This thing is huge. There's many things that actually come in with this update. However, before we get into the video, if you guys haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken uh, giveaway for the month of December, and remember there will be four winners, yes, four winners, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So, for those who don't know, Season of the Forge has a lot of things that come with it and this is also the weekly reset so we will get into the challenges in just a second however for season of the forge we do have heavy machine guns that are returning we will have new weapons new crucible content iron banner will be coming back uh we will be having tons of uh gameplay updates as well as seasonal ranks also within season of the forge we will be getting the dawning event to return now black armory is supposed to come to season of the forge as well however it will not be live until december 4th 2018 and with this we will be getting access to the black armory a uh new forge of the uh chain activity we will be getting a new raid lair new exotics new legendaries new triumphs to collect as well as bonus rewards what those bonus rewards are i don't know yet but we're gonna shortly find out so with this wonderfulness, we're going to go ahead and check uh, milestones. We have to actually speak to Tess Everest at the Eververse, so we'll do that in just a second. But let's go ahead and go down to this wonderful uh, challenges. So we do need to still complete bounties with Ikora, as well as earn 5,000 XP for the clan. And as I did say, uh, we did need to go to uh, Tess Everest, find out what she has for us. Uh, let's go into Titan. Challenges here, we have your uh, Heroic Adventure, you need to complete it, as well as the Flashpoint is on Titan, and you need to complete Lost Sectors, Heroic Adventures, Public Events, and if you do the Heroic versions of those Public Events, you can get this done a lot quicker. Then coming down here to Gambit, you need to complete Gambit matches, totally in three. Whoops. As for a Crucible, we have uh, complete five Crucible matches, and you can do that in any one of these uh, playlists except for Private Match. And we have Lockdown for the uh, week's Crucible uh, playlist. Coming to the Dreaming City, Petra is now in the uh, Ray Sylvia uh, area, and you still need to complete uh, two weekly bounties from her. Look at everyone just going to test. Jesus, that's a lot of people. God. So we are here at Test Everest, at the Eververse, and she is going to go ahead and give us this wonderful thing. And ooh, okay. These bright engrams look uh, pretty interesting. So we're going to look at that in just a second. So for the Prismatic Matrix, we have Burnout. And wow, this looks... Amazing. Oh my god, that looks amazing. We get custom drive, destabilizers, as well as a random mod. Let's look at this baby. Like, oh my god, that looks sick AF. I'm so excited for this season. Then we have the salute to the colonel, which is the ornament for the ace of spades, or an ornament, because this is going to be the second <gasps> colonel. That is so awesome. That is so... I'm sorry. <laughs> totally sidetracked. But that is so awesome. Oh my god. Next we have uh, Vanguard uh, Deer Grips, which is Gauntlets. And that was a timer. <laughs> this comes with a Mobility Enhancement Mod, Plasteel Reinforcement Mod, a Momentum Transfer, Impact Induction, Sniper Rifle Scavenger, as well as Special Ammo Finder. 
Then we have Bond of, I can't even say that, Reciprocity, or Reciprocy, yeah, whatever, who cares? <laughs> Comes with Innovation, Invigoration, Submachine Gun Reserves, as well as Pulse Rifle Scavenger. I apologize for messing up that. Um, it's Reciprocity, sorry. <laughs> uh, then we have, uh, I'm not even going to pronounce this, this thing for the freaking Titan. <laughs> Comes with Mobility Enhancement Mod, Posterior Reinforcement Mod, Restorative, I'm sorry, Momentum Transfer, Impact Induction, Sniper Rifle Scavenger, as well as uh, Special Ammo Finder. Then on the other side, we have a Bad Run, which is the ornament for a Hazard of the Cast. That actually looks pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. So far, Bungie is doing very well with Siege of the Forge. Then we have Competitive Dance, which is an emote. Oh yeah. I'm liking it. I'm so liking it. <laughs> oh god. Then we have the Dream Streak, which is a ship. Yeah. Another wonderful reskin with like these two circles on it. I don't know how I feel about that. Then we got another ghost called Buzzing Drone Shell. I don't know if it makes a sound, because I can't hear anything right now. And then last but not least, we have your Lost Sector Projection. Coming down here, we have the Etched Engram. So, we are going to go ahead and go over a lot of this stuff. So, starting with the armor, we're just going to go over all the exotics. Um, this is all the armor you get. It is the Vanguard Deer stuff. Uh, or for Titans, it's the Star Crossed, and for Warlocks, it's the Symmetrist Palms. Oh my god! All my alarms are going off today. Jesus. <laughs> As for our ornaments, we have the Callus's Promise, which is the ornament for the Skyburner's Oath. That looks pretty cool. Then we have the Desert Camo for the Mita Multi Tool. Interesting. Then we have the Ikelos Field Tuning for the Polaris Lance. Not gonna lie, it actually I think it personally looks better than the other uh, ornament. Then we have the Suros Chrome for the Suros Regime. And I hope you actually got yours. Oh my god! That looks beautiful! <laughs> I hope you got your Suros last week from Zer. Because, yeah, this... Wow. Then we have one terrible scream for the 1,000 voices. That's pretty interesting, I guess. Then we have the cuddly throwback for the two-tailed fox. And unfortunately, I still do not have a two-tailed fox. I'm so sad. But, this is what it looks like. It has, a. Uh, two of the wonderful Jade Rabbits on it. And then we have your Salute to the Colonel, from which we've already seen. Kingmaker, which is the ornament for the Queen Breaker. Wow. That, that looks pretty cool. I actually like it. And then last but not least, we have the uh, Hades Judgment. Or at least I, I hope I said that. And this is the ornament for the... Uh, Prometheus Lens, okay. So I thought it was actually going to be for the Wave Splitter, but no, for the Prometheus Lens. Coming down here, we already seen a Bad Run, which is for the Hazard of the Cast. Then we have Blind Faith, which is an ornament for the Trust. It's pretty interesting. Then we have Never Through, which is the ornament for the Bygones, or another ornament for the Bygones. I actually like these ornaments, I really do. Not saying last uh, season's ornaments were bad, um, but I like these ones. Then we have Unwelcome Visit. And that is the ornament for the Distant Relation. Then we have Salt the Field, which is the ornament for the Pillager. That looks pretty badass. And then we have uh, Fell to Earth, which is the ornament for the Parcel of Stardust. 
What? That looks so sick. Next we have the Over and Done With, which is the ornament for the Dread Adventure. Okay, okay. I got you. And then last but not least, we have the Aim is True for the No Turning Back. Eh, it's okay, I guess. Not too fond of that one. As for armor ornaments, we have uh, Augmented Wish for the Young Ahankara Spine. Looks pretty cool. Then we have the uh, Riggle Crossroads for the Graviton Forfeit. Oh my god. That looks amazing. Uh, then we have the Lordly Homage for the Doomfang Pauldron, and unfortunately we probably won't be able to look at it. Nope. Then we have the, uh, oh my god, <laughs> Thenatonauts Peril for the Mask of the Quiet One, as well as the Eyes of Mercury for the Sunbracers, and last but not least we have Matter Flare for the Luna Faction Boots. As for Ghost Shells, I am only going to go over... Uh, the exotic ones, we have the uh, Rust Punk Shell. This comes with Treasure Hunter, as well as Omni Telemetry and a random mod. Then we have Neon Helix Shell. This also comes with Guiding Light, Omni Telemetry, and a random mod. Actually, looks pretty cool. Then we have the Future Perfect Shell. Okay. Comes with Speed Demon, Omni Telemetry, and a random mod. Kind of looks Siva like, but with blue. Then we have the Sanctum Plate Shell. And this comes with Banshee's Favorite, as well as Vanguard Scanner, Crucible Scanner, as well as a random mod. I actually like it. It's like a crystallized uh, ghost that's kind of uh, see through. And let's check out the emotes. So we got four new emotes. We have the, I can't even say that, the Pyric or Py, Pyric uh, Victory. I think that's how you pronounce that. I don't know, don't judge me. Then we have Let's Chat. Oh, this is going to be a terrible one to uh, use in Crucible. It'll piss so many people off. Then we have Nothing Is Wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that, yeah, nothing is wrong at all. Just burst into flames. And then last but not least, we have s'mores. That's awesome. As for our sparrows. We have the Approaching Infinity. This comes with Custom Drive, Destabilizers, and a random mod. We already went over the Burnout, and the last one is the Bronco. Oh, that's pretty huge. It's pretty nice, though. It also comes with Custom Drive, Destabilizers, Destabilizers and a random mod. I like it actually looks pretty nice. As for the ships, we have Unsecured Outcry. Nah, it's a Warmind looking ship, but nah, it's kind of a reskin. Then we have the 801's uh, Lone Wolf. Oh my god, this thing looks badass. What? Oh, I can't wait to get it. And then last but not least, we have the Odir. Or at least I hope I pronounced that right. Eh, another reskin. Sorry.
Coming to Shaders, we have a couple new ones. We have uh, Deep Sea Jaunt. That's pretty much what it looks like. Then we have uh, Temperature Wash. Then we have uh, Lilac Bombast. Or Bombast, sorry. Ugh, looks terrible. Then we have Vibrant Beach. Chalco's Finery. Sunrise Warrior. That's really pink. And then that's all for the new ones. As for mods, we do have a couple. We have uh, new projections. Three as one projection. Then we have the uh, Rasmussen projection. Rasmussen, huh? That sounds pretty interesting. Uh, then we have the uh, Mayrin projection. The Satu projection. The Wise Owl, Artist uh, Palette Projection, uh, Lost Sector, Taken King, uh, Partheon, Quilla Inc., Lost Treasure, as well as Clashing. As for Transmat Effects, we get to preview these. We have uh, Signal Processed. It's pretty cool. Then we have Only the Finest. Guiding Light. And last but not least, the Past Unearthed. That actually looks pretty cool. I like that one a lot. And all the other ones are just uh, previous ones. And that's pretty much everything, uh, except for obviously the legendaries I didn't check, for this season from uh, the Eververse. However, that's just in the etched engrams. Let's go ahead and check out what is in this wonderful little package. Uh, Forger's Ignition Bundle. So we get three etched engrams, as well as Bright Dust and uh, Fire Team Medallion. Yay! That's pretty much it. So, Bright Dust purchases for this week. We have uh, SKA Dance. I'm assuming they're just going to go in an entirely huge circle. Yep. Then we have Awaken the War Mine, which is not a uh, new one. It is an older one from the uh, War Mine DLC, obviously. Then we have... Uh, I'm not even going to say that. <laughs> we have a new Sparrow. <laughs> and another new Sparrow. A uh, new ship. Ruby Slice. That's a pretty small ship. Then we got another new ship called Arm Coat. Nah, reskin. Ghost called Path Followed Shell. That's an interesting take on the uh, look of a shell, I guess. Then we have Lost uh, Treasure Projection. Armor of the Week is Boots. For the Hunter, it comes with Mobility Enhancement Mod, Restorative Mod, Dynamo. Uh, rifle Dexterity, Armor Scavenger, as well as Primary Ammo Finder. Coming down here, we have the Tangled Paladin for the Black Talon, which is an ornament. Or this is an ornament. That actually looks pretty cool. I like it. Then we have the Down to Business, which is the ornament for the Sweet Business. This is an older ornament. Then we have the Past Unearth uh, Projection. Uh, I'm sorry, the Past Unearth Transmount Effect. The green bean effect, as well as this wonderful shader, this wonderful shader, and then last but not least, our wonderful boons. As for page two, all you get is your weekly bounties, and I already got the last one, as well as the faster than speed bundle, which comes with uh, 
Hypervelocity, which is an ornament for the Thunderlord, as well as Corrupted Ether, which is a trend mat effect, and 150 Bright Dust. So, with Season of the Forge, aka Season 5, we will not be able to get pinnacle weapons from the Vanguard, the Crucible, as well as the uh, Gambit Vendor, which is the Drifter. So, as you can see, Danger After Dark is one of them, as well as uh, Countdown to Zero. So, I'm going to go ahead up and pick both of these up, because that's going to be awesome. And I'm going to go ahead and grab these as well. So, we are here at Lord Shax, and I am going to go ahead and pick up his pinnacle uh, things, which is pr pretty much just one, but he does have a nice weapon. Uh, Wishbringer, okay, cool. So, here we are at the Drifter, and we are going to go ahead and pick up his pinnacle uh, weapon uh, quest. However, he did change uh, the package here for the trust, and he just automatically gives you the trust instead of opening a package. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.